Hi, I'm Philip Preston, president of PolyScience. Those of you who have cooked sous vide know that many things need to be finished with a sear after the sous vide process. Quite often that involves a barbecue grill, a broiler, a pan sear, a torch. I just want to share a couple of other fun ideas with you. One of my favorites is a heat gun. This is designed for removing paint and can do a very effective job of putting a sear on food. One of the things I find with torches is that they are extremely slow. And what I find when using a heat gun is that I can get a, a very, very nice uniform result. They're probably not as fast as a barbecue grill but definitely much more uniform. And there's how you sear a duck leg with a heat gun. Now let's explore some other fun ideas. When cooking sous vide, you're always confronted with how to sear something. And these ribs have been cooking now for about eight, 10 hours at 155 degrees. So they're beautifully tender and they just need a little bit of a sear on them. So let's do it in a big way. With the Red Dragon. That will get your guests attention. This is a trick that was shared with me by Alton Brown and definitely gives an interesting result. Enjoy.